Ski resorts in the Sierra Nevadas are opening almost a month early. Good morning and welcome to daily travel news and updates on Travel Well. My name is Davey Allister and we will be bringing you updates on all things travel. If this is of interest of you, then hit the subscribe button right in the left side of the screen and turn on the notification bell to get the most up to date travel news. On today's show, ski resorts in the Sierra Nevadas are opening almost a month early. Biden sets new rules requiring a negative COVID test or proof of vaccination to fly domestically. Get ready for long lines at the airport as U.S. gets ready to lift their travel ban. Australia will lift a ban on citizens traveling overseas without permission. And unvaccinated tennis players will be able to travel to the Australian Open. Let's get into it. So yesterday, California had an atmospheric river event, which brought over three feet of snow to the Sierra Nevadas, and even as much as five feet in some areas. X Squaw Valley Ski Resort and Alpine Meadows will be opening this year under the new moniker, the Palisades. They open this Friday, October 29th, they announced on their site and on Johnny Mosley's Instagram. This is one of the earliest times they have ever opened in the resort's history. This is great news because the 2021-2022 winter is already starting to look way better than last year with more snow coverage than pretty much all of November and December last year this far. Mammoth Mountain will also be opening early because they got absolutely dumped on as well. Great mountain, very exciting stuff for people in the area that love to ski and snowboard. Get out there um, and be safe. Get ready for long lines at the airport as the U.S. gets ready to lift their travel ban. Delta Airlines Chief Executive Ed Bastian said on Tuesday that travelers should be prepared for initial long lines when the United States lift international tra travel restrictions for fully vaccinated travelers on November 8th. Make sure to give airline workers a break as there's probably gonna be an adjustment period. So try to be nice to people and not be an asshole. I mean, I know that's difficult flying you're in tight quarters with people, but let's try to make this work and get together people, come on. Australia will lift a ban on citizens traveling overseas without permission. The government announced Wednesday with the country's border set to open for skilled workers and international students by year's end. More than 18 months after Australia closed its international borders, fully vaccinated citizens will no longer have to seek an exemption to leave the country, a joint statement said from the Health and Home Affairs Ministry said. It comes as the country's adult double-dose vaccination rate edged closer to an 80% target. Biden sets new rules requiring a negative COVID test or proof of vaccination to fly domestically. I think this is gonna cause a lot of issues uh, in the anti-vax crowd and community, as I've seen a lot of people in local bars in my area already getting really aggressive over mask mandates and others, so I do not see this going well. Let me know what you think in the comments if you think this is a good idea or not. Let's just try to get along, and if you, know, you have a, a, a difference of ideas, please solve it civilly. Well, that just about wraps up today's travel news and updates. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Travel Well channel to become a part of our travel community. My name is Davey Allister, and we will see you tomorrow.